Begin by taking the CD out of the quick installation manual package to load the Bartender Ultralight software. Insert the CD into the laptop or PC you're using. When you do, you will see a pop-up window with the Run Startup selection. Select Run Startup 1.exe to install the Bartender Ultralight printing software. Click the Bartender logo link below. This will bring up directions for installing Bartender software, or click the button above, which actually looks like a link, not a button, to begin the download. A file download security warning will appear and ask if you want to run or save this file. Select Run. You'll see the file download begin and a download security warning window may pop up to verify if you want to run this software. Select Run. An install wizard window will appear asking you to select a language for the installation from the choices below. Then press OK. You will see a progress bar for the install shield wizard. I have shortened this for the video, but it may take several minutes. The next window will appear with a welcome to the bartender setup wizard. Click next. Please read the following license agreement carefully, then select I accept the terms in the license agreement, then choose next. An installation options window will appear with a default of bartender and sample documents selected, and an area to browse to a location if you choose other than the default location, then select next. An overview options window will appear and reads ready to install, giving you the installation path and the components that are going to be installed. If everything is correct, select Install. This will begin the installation of the Bartender software. In the notes here it says it should take just a few minutes when installing from the CD. If you're installing from the web, this time will vary depending on your internet connection. There is a link for Bartender Ultralight software on business.toshiba.com as mentioned in the driver section video. Installation is now complete and you can select Finish. A new window shows Installation Complete and by default will open the Getting Started manual, run Bartender, and create a desktop shortcut. You can deselect any of these if you wish, then select Finish. Since I left those selected, it automatically opened the Getting Started manual. I will minimize that which takes you back to the opening page from the CD you are now finished with the CD so it can be closed. Using the Bartender Ultralight icon that was created during our installation, double-clicking that will bring up a window to choose a Bartender Edition. It shows that you are running Ultralight Edition. For the first 30 days, you have the option to try out other features and ask what you would like to do. Run the Enterprise Automation Edition, run the Automation Edition, run the Professional Edition, run the Basic Edition, or run the free Ultralight Edition only. Select this and press OK. A window will pop up asking what you would like to do. Start a new bartender document or open an existing bartender document. I'm going to click on Start a new document. A new document wizard will open and ask for the starting point, whether it's a blank template or an existing bartender document. Select Blank Template, then choose Next. Next is the printer selection to specify the printer for use with this document. Previously, I chose the Toshiba BFV4 as my default printer. I will leave that selected and press Next. You will then enter a stock selection to specify a custom setting or use a predefined stock. If you select a predefined stock, it will show the stock names. I am using 4x6 labels, so I will choose the 4x6 as my template size then Next. A template background window will appear for background features such as color, picture, or template image. You can select any of those as needed, then select Next. Then the new document wizard shows Finished with a review of your starting document, printer, stock name, and template size. Verify everything is set properly, then select Finish. This will now open up the Bartender Lite software.
I'm going to choose just a few items from serialization just to put something on the label. And an item from the symbols font. As you can see across the top toolbar, there are a lot of different options similar to a Word document. We can add text by selecting here. I'll choose single line. And by default, it says sample text. You can type your own text here, but I'll leave it as sample text. At any point, we can go to file and print, or simply choose the print icon from the toolbar, which will bring up our print document window. This shows our printer name, status, model, port, as well as the quantity of serial numbers and the copies per serial number. We can now press print to output our label to the printer. This startup roll of labels that came with the printer are perforated so we can tear it off and are ready to use our output label.